Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end into the DXY and Nasdaq, because after this big dump that we have seen yesterday, it looks like that Bitcoin is already recovering. I told you also yesterday that I was opening up here a long position over on Bybit at 50k, this is what I did. My target is to reach here 53 to 54K before maybe I'm going to close this position. Because as I told you, my friends, we are still not out of the woods yet after this bigger correction that we had. And we first need to wait what will happen once we are reaching 53 to 54K. Then we're gonna see if we are able to go back in an uptrend or if we're gonna see continuation to the downside towards bearish targets. But for now, in the short term, I'm expecting here a breather to the upside and in the four hour time frame, or better, let's switch over into the one hour, you can see that we consolidated yesterday within this uh, triangle and usually during bear markets, uh, those are continuation patterns. So that means that after this consolidation, usually we continue to drop here in this case. But since we're still in our bull market, we have right now a breakout to the upside. And if we go now over into the four hour time frame, you can see that we are far away from the top of the EMA ribbon right here at $54,000 and also far away from the 200 moving average here at $56,000. So what I'm expecting here is a breather towards this potential resistance up here at around 54k. If Bitcoin is able to push higher and eventually also go back in an uptrend here in the four hour time frame. So trading and closing candles above the EMA ribbons and also above the 200 moving average. Then I'm expect that this correction is over and we will head towards new all time highs potentially because if we are forming here a big double bottom formation that you can see better in the daily time frame then I think we're gonna see explosive moves for Bitcoin to the upside and the correction is over but if here we are getting rejected especially here at 54k which previously acted as a strong support and now could be acting as a strong resistance then I'm afraid to tell you that most likely the correction is not over and we potentially are dropping again towards 50k or lower if this is now our new resistance but for now I'm expecting here an attempt to go up and test 50 4k and hopefully we can break it also if we have a look into my own indicator you can see that yesterday we not only got here a nice buy signal but also we had a nice bullish divergence so you can see that we had a higher low in the rsi and in the price action we had a lower low so this is a bullish divergence and in my opinion this is going to play out nicely here to the upside towards this 54 k target and then we're gonna need to see if we should close then our long position or if we just should put a stop loss somewhere to then eventually close it in profits if we're gonna see a rollover here and continue our correction but here in the lower time frames everything is looking like that we are going to get this breather towards 53 to 54 k and if we go over here into the daily time frame you can see that also here we are cooling off all the indicators and once we are getting here a nice buy signal similar like we had also here at 48k then i think we are going at least up to test the 20 moving average or here the top of the ema ribbons right at 55k so this breather to the upside could take us towards this direction and if Bitcoin is able again to close daily candles above the EMA ribbons and again above the 20 daily moving average, then I think we are out of the woods and we should expect here big continuations to the upside, especially once in the hash ribbons indicator we are getting a buy signal. We are still not getting any kind of buy signal right now, we are still in miners capitulation and that's why as long as we don't have there a buy signal, I just think that Bitcoin is not ready to create new all-time highs and have explosive moves to the upside that's why in my opinion we most likely gonna see Bitcoin trade sideways or have some breeders to the upside before we eventually are starting to explode again to the upside and also keep in mind that we are still trading below the Keltner channels so once we are again closing daily candles above the Keltner channel so above right now $58,800 
then I think we're gonna see big explosive moves to the upside. But until then, there's a very high chance that we first could get rejected here right at the middle of $54,000, latest here at the top, currently at $58,800. So as long as we're not trading again above the Keltner channels like we also did here in the past during our bull market, I think that we're just gonna go sideways or maybe even lower since we're closing a daily candles below the Keltner channels. And this is usually what we're seeing during bear markets and not during bull markets. So we are still in danger, but I think it looks very good here for the mid to long term that Bitcoin could recover quite fast without any bigger correction, especially if here we're gonna create a nice double bottom formation. And once we're getting a buy signal in the hash ribbons and also start to close daily candles above the Keltner channels currently at $58,800, then I think we are out of the woods, then we should be going all in into Bitcoin and also look for nice long opportunities here on Bybit and Femex. And if you also want to take trades here on Bybit or Femex, where you can get also a lot of bonus if you sign up with the links that you find down below here in the video description. Currently, we have also an additional $2,000 trading bonus over on Femex. Sign up with my link to Femex and then you can claim those bonus so you can do some free trades because even here with a small amount of money and with some decent leverage, you can do quite nice gains here. So for Bitcoin, in my opinion, this breeder towards 54K is incoming and then we're gonna see what will happen up here. If we're getting rejected, I'm expecting continuation to the downside again, but if we're able to consolidate at around 54K and create another support somewhere here, then I think also here for Bitcoin, we're gonna see new all-time highs pretty soon and the correction phase is over. And if we switch now over into Ethereum, you can see that even though we had quite a dump yesterday, we didn't even come down to test the 20 daily moving average here at $3,300. So Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish, especially here in the daily time frame. And also here we could be about to get a buy signal, even though we're still in quite overbought condition. But uh, if here we're getting another buy signal in the daily time frame and Bitcoin continues to go higher, I think also here for Ethereum we could easily reach our target here of around $4,650. And if we go over into the four hour, you can also see that Ethereum is trying to push above the 20 moving average here in the four hour time frame. So it's very important that Ethereum is starting again to close four hour candles above $4,000 right here at the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame. I think that will lead into a nice pump towards our potential next resistance up here at around $4,650. Also here you can see that we got a nice buy signal in the four hour time frame. Also the RSI is going back above the 50 level. So we just have to start to close here four hour candles above the 20 moving average. And then I think the correction here for Ethereum at least for now is over. And we can do also here a Fibonacci retracement from this dump that we had. And you can see that right now we are coming to a very critical point here, the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement at $4,050. If we are able to consolidate again above this important Fibonacci retracement level, then I think the correction is over here for Ethereum and we are heading higher. But if here we're getting rejected at this important Fibonacci retracement level and we are not able to close four hour candles above the 20 moving average again then i think also here we most likely are rolling over and continue the correction so everything is gonna be depending if ethereum is able again to close four hour candles above this important fibonacci retracement level at four thousand and forty dollars everything is pointing out that ethereum has very good chances to go back here into an uptrend and continue to create very soon new all-time highs again. So watch out for the next couple of four hour closes here. I think next week latest, we're gonna have a resolution here if we are back in an uptrend or if we continue our correction. So Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish. I like this chart way more than the Bitcoin chart right now. And that's why I think here on Ethereum, we still have a lot of you left to the upside and another bullish thing is that the dxy currently is dropping again so we are having this resistance still here at the 20 daily moving average i told you that since we are in a downtrend here in the dxy most likely here at the 20 daily moving average we are getting rejected and we most likely also continue to drop lower that is very much in favor for the crypto and stock market and only once we are back in an uptrend here so once we are closing daily candles at least above 
above the 20 daily moving average at $91 or even better above the top of the EMA ribbons at $91.20. Then the chances are high that the DXY could go up here to test the 200 daily moving average and maybe even push higher. But as long as we're trading below the EMA ribbons and below the 20 daily moving average, everything should be in favor for the crypto and stock market because the DXY is still in a downtrend and we should expect here also lower highs and lower lows incoming in the next coming days and you will see that also over on nasdaq we are seeing a nice breather here so nasdaq is having here a buy signal it will be confirmed by tomorrow if we're gonna continue to trade here at around thirteen thousand dollars so if nasdaq is able to go back in an uptrend here so if nasdaq is able to close again daily candles above thirteen thousand six hundred fifty dollars i think that also here most likely we're gonna see very soon new all-time highs and also here the correction uh, could be over so if Nasdaq here is able to recover and this was the bottom for now, we would have here a higher low and also a higher high compared to this one over here at $13,790. And that's why I'm expecting then also here big continuations to the upside for Nasdaq and that will be very much in favor also for the Bitcoin price. So with that said guys, we're gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and a big shout out goes over to Bitscap. They are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free. Sign up with the link that you also find here in the video description. After 14 days, if it's profitable for you, if you're running those trading bots on your exchanges, then you can upgrade to a monthly plan which is starting by only $19 a month. Month. so like this you should get your money very easily and quickly back because they are very profitable and you can connect all kind of exchanges to this all-in-one platform and of course also do arbitrage if you want and another big shout out goes of course also to our great crypto trading chat here on discord if you want to join our discord community then also use the invitation link that you find here in the description once you have clicked on that go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot then you have free access to the trading chat and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin a small donation is needed so just contact me directly here on discord otherwise get here a youtube membership because then you have access to this live stream of my own indicator directly here on youtube so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye